what's going on people what's welcome back i completely forgot my intro but we go move on anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man i know you guys are hyped for slam dunk so first let me say this i'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible with slam dunk because you guys really want to see this content okay i really need to fix my camera so right now i don't know what's going on with my camera but in any case, guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this series has to offer. I am not getting bored of the series, but I have to be critical of the series. A um, couple of people had much to say about my comments about it. Listen, no anime is freaking perfect, okay? None of them is. None of them is perfect. None of them is, you know what I'm saying, to the point where... Um, um, uh, an anime can be a masterpiece, but it still has flaws. Like I had flaws when it comes on to Hunter x Hunter, even though Hunter x Hunter in its own right with the anime, it's a masterpiece of storytelling, right? So I really like it. But at the end of the day, you have to, I mean, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me. What I have to say about them taking, them taking, a, a episode and a half even though the, the anime is already has a slow start them taking a, a, a episode and a half it just doesn't add up a lot of these things like i was trying to explain to somebody that had a problem is saying that i was bored if i'm bored with the anime to drop it and all this other stuff and i explained to them i'm like you have to agree that some of this stuff does doesn't make sense the guy is fundamentally fundamentally it doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying you can't have someone who is absolutely have good basic and eye coordination to be able to go up against somebody a judo black belt and kind of hold his own he didn't beat the guy but he's a good fighter and he can't make a layup come on guys layup is the easiest basket to make uncontested layups is the easiest thing to make in basketball yes there's a certain level of skill but the level of skill is not like it's up here the level of skill is like down here as i've said before so i'm just saying it doesn't add up and i and i think a lot of times when anime do stuff like this you gotta call them out for the bullshit that they pull because it just doesn't make sense you get what i'm saying it doesn't add up it doesn't go with the flow it, it none of that yes i'm enjoying what i'm watching you get what I'm saying? No doubt about that. I'm enjoying what I'm watching. It's just that when I see bullshit like that, that doesn't add up. It doesn't make sense. There's no way for you to explain this lack to me. There just isn't. But anyways, we going to jump into this and see what's going on with this practice match, man. Um, they're going up against some really formidable opponents, top four school in the prefecture or whatever um i don't know if it if it's in the nation or just in the prefecture but i think it's in the prefecture but anyways let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review All right, so that was three really good episodes, man. Really good episodes. Really enjoyed those. I really enjoyed those episodes. Um, very funny. And he's learning. You know what I'm saying? It's not just about... You see, there are certain things in, in basketball that deserves them going over. Like, you know, boxing out for rebound, as they call it, screen out, right? Boxing out for rebound learning how to rebound prop properly, positioning, because all of those things, you know, are actually stuff that, you, that, you know, it doesn't take, it takes a lot of skill, I should say. It takes a lot of skill to learn in basketball. It takes, it takes a lot because it's actually a thinking game. It's a war under the basket, as Akagi describes it, right? So you have to take into account that those things are worth spending episodes on i don't mind seeing that because that's growth those are things that he needs to to move forward you know what i'm saying coming in the game nervous you know those things you can spend time on 
in an anime. You get what I'm saying? Because that that's coming from a real person, a real situation. I just didn't like the whole the time that they spent on the layup. That's the only thing I did not like. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, so I'm just saying like way better. The the the, the, the pacing has picked up because now we're in a game. Now I don't know how long they're gonna spend you know after this game you know if it's gonna go back to the same pace and again hopefully it doesn't but I don't mind this as long as the progress as long as you know everybody on the team is progressing Rukawa Akagi Hashimini whatever his name is Ham, Hamini, Ham, 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 Hanamichi right Hanamichi right as long as they're progressing I don't have an issue with this anime as long as it's moving forward and it's not like stuck in this weird you know situation so I don't mind it we're gonna get through this anime okay so I'm enjoying it I know you guys are enjoying um, watching it with me so um, I have no plans of dropping this anime you know what I'm saying because I really do want to see what makes it or what you know why people consider it to be one of the best sports anime of all time um you know mind you this is from you know i don't know if it's early 90s late 80s that this anime came out i don't know when but you know the animation you know it's cool you know what i'm saying it's not the greatest animation in the world but it does remind me of early dragon ball animation which i never liked even though you know what i'm saying back then is what you had you know what i'm saying i just never liked it i, I never liked the animation in dragon ball z like i, I never did you know um uh I'm, I'm talking about dragon ball z dragon ball I, I never liked the animation i just found i found it very very sticky and you gotta understand that i'm an older person guys i'm not you know what i'm saying i i wasn't a teenager when I watched Dragon Ball Z, you know what I'm saying? Dragon Ball Z was already out years when I got a chance to watch it or when it came into my, you know, my view and pleasure. I was like already like in my 20s. So you, you got to understand that. And plus coming from a background of, you know, audio visual, um, doing that stuff, whether it's in school, whether, you know what I'm saying, whether I'm coming from that background. So me seeing stuff like that, it was very like jarring, you know what I'm saying? It was very jarring, but it was still enjoyable. It was still hype because of what was happening, the transformation, everything in Dragon Ball Z went well. So I don't mind watching it. It's just that I'm not going to talk about the animation because me and you know, it's not great animation, right? <laughs> so um, so yeah, man, I'm enjoying what they're, t the story that they're telling through the play of basketball, the, 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 the lens that you have to go to, to learn and to, you know, appreciate the skill that you have to have to play sports, you know? So it's a learning process. I think, you know, when the coach said that, you know, he's definitely an amateur, I, you know, so he's definitely you know for this year in two or three years i don't know you know what i'm saying because in two or three years he could be an absolute genius on the court he's a first year so you know so i do want to see him achieve great things in this basketball club i do want to see him do that because you know he, he i think at some point he's going to start doing it and understanding what it is I don't know if this beef between him and Ruka, Rukawa is going to continue. You know what I'm saying? It's good rivalry to have on a team because they are, you know, in every sport, you are going to be going up against, you know what I'm saying? Other players on your team that think they're better than you or you think you're better than them. You're going to have those internal rivalry on teams, unless it's a single sport, of course. But, you know, it's healthy. It's healthy for the team because at least you know both of those guys or whatever is going to give their all when they're on the court or the field, whatever. You know they're going to give their all because, you know what I'm saying, I got something to prove. You're not going to be selfish, but you're going to play like you have something to prove. 
you know so it's healthy it can be unhealthy but for the most part i believe that is very healthy as long as it's not something that goes beyond the court you know what i'm saying and goes beyond the field as long as they keep it internal and be like oh i'm gonna score four goals today you know what i'm saying other guys like nah i'm gonna score six goals today you know what i'm saying but it's all good one if we off the court and it's still like an issue like we fighting when we're not on the court and stuff like that then it can become very unhealthy but for the most part i think you know internal rivalries on said team it's it's a good thing so appreciate you guys for tuning in as always man you guys got three episodes i'm gonna put these out on youtube but there's gonna be two extra episode that is going to be on early reactions tomorrow so you guys get to see this tonight which is tonight is thursday night but i'm gonna put out two more tomorrow but it's gonna be on early access so if you guys want to sign up to see it that's up to you guys not forcing you to do anything just know that you gotta wait five days before you see the next two episodes of slam dunk okay so i'm letting you guys know from now anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man leave a like on the video leave a link leave a link leave <laughs> leave um a comment and i will catch you guys later don't forget it's your boy terabyte reacts peace